Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I have a pretty exciting project, and it's making chain mail out of aluminum pop tabs or soda tabs. Now, as you probably know, chain mail was a popular type of armor that was used during the Middle Ages and the Renaissance era and in Europe, and they were primarily used with small steel rings called links. Now, today I'm actually going to be using aluminum pop tabs to make these links. And it's a great way to recycle these pop tabs that could have gone to the landfill and make something great out of them and useful. You can use the chain mail to go to reenactments and to make costumes and all sorts of stuff. So, let's get started. The supplies you'll need for this project are needle nose pliers, wire cutters, and a whole bunch of aluminum pop tabs. Okay, to start out, you're going to take your pop tab and your needle nose pliers and you're gonna bend it right down the middle like this and it may be kind of uneven so you, you can flip it over and bend it along the other side so you'll be left with a slightly bent pop tab to use in your project and you're gonna do that to all of your pop tabs next you're gonna need your bent pop tabs and your wire cutters and now all you need to do is just snip each pop tab right here at the top and you're gonna have to do that to all of your pop tabs next we're gonna start weaving so you'll need four pop tabs and you want to put two side by side and one on the top and one on the bottom and first you're going to separate the bottom pop tab right along where it's cut and take it under the bottom left part of this pop tab and hook it under the bottom right part of this other pop tab and close it up so you'll be left with this and now you want to take the bottom part of this pop tab and hook it under the bottom left part of this pop tab top left part of this pop tab and the top right part of this pop tab so you'll have a diamond I'm gonna do it again you're gonna put two pop tabs right beside each other separate the top part of this pop tab and hook it under these two bars and then separate the tops of these and hook the bottom part of this pop tab on the top parts of these I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, so now that you have your diamonds, you're going to line them up like this and take a tab and hook it along these side tabs of each diamond so you're connecting them. So you'll have one tab here and then take another tab and put it right here. Bye. it like this. So now you're left with two hooked diamonds. I'm going to do it one more time. Yep. 
So now you connected three diamonds with four different pop tabs. And now you have a little tiny swatch of pop tab chainmail. Now if you want to add more chainmail on either side, you can just keep linking the diamonds together to go left and right. And to go up and down, you can just link the diamonds together like this. at the bottom and put this one connect them right here so then you'll have two diamonds and to connect them all you have to do is put a link right here in the middle like this So now you added two more diamonds on the bottom and connected it using a link. Okay, so I wanted to show you another way you can add links. You can just take the bottom two of a row and link them together with another tab. And then you have an extra tab on the end. And if you want to go even further, just do the same thing to the next row. And if you wanted to hook them together on the end, you can just link them together on the sides. Like this. And that's just another way you can add tabs to your chainmail. Before I go, I wanted to show you guys my project. I'm working on a vest. And as you can see, it's taken many individual links and many hours of work. Thanks for watching my video, guys. If you guys end up making your own pop tab chainmail, send me pictures because I'd love to see it. I hope you guys learned something new today.